Here we have a HO scale Walther's main line 53 foot smooth side gondola. This is a Norfolk Southern 192068. So uh, let's unbox this. Uh, once again, the Walther's uh, makes this main line car is very affordable. Be it's easy to uh, build a long train. Uh, because it's affordable to it's very affordable to say that way very affordable so inside you got your you know usual warranty information let's see in the back packet you have this uh parts here that uh you can uh set up for coil low service and also with uh pulp wood you got these and let's open them up let's open it up so instead of me talking to show it all right. So, here you go for your coil low service here. And this right here, these guys are for your uh, pop wood. So, you want to load pop wood into your gondolas. You have the uh, end pieces here to uh, keep the product inside the car, the bulkheads. So, that will come in that packet. So we're gonna take this, open this up. The hard clear plastic here. There's uh, no soft plastic surround the model. And uh, here's what you get. So let's set that up real quick. Got this uh, Norfolk Southern Gondola uh, here. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Here's the detail parts that uh, come with the car. So it is the Walther main line here. Uh, here you got grab irons, but they're uh, molded in. Uh, you got stirrup, which is a part of the car body. You got ribs going along the side of the car here. Uh, looks pretty good, to, in my opinion. Here you got the uh, road name, road number, and you have information about the car. It looks all uh, legible. Uh, you got the big NS logo, which is not bleeding. Uh, looks pretty good, in my opinion. And you got down here, you got the lube board information here. Maybe you can zoom in on here. And you can see that it's legible. Then you got the G72, which is also legible there. And you got the um, brake shoe information here, all legible also. Now you got the side ladder here, which is also uh, a molded on part. And the stirrup is part of the car body. Swinging around here, rule name, uh, rule number here. Got your handbrake, then you got a handbrake uh, platform, which is uh, right here. Then you got an uh, end ladder, which end ladder is uh, once again uh, a molded on part of the car. Uh, you got a uh, protomax knuckle here, and some more grab irons. Uh, the car uh, has the road name, road number, and information about the car. Uh, you can see that the information here about the uh, brake shoes here and also here, blue board, and more information about the uh, car. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a really basic model. Uh, get in at about, it gives you opportunity to uh, build a uh, large, and we'll have a large fleet of uh, gondolas our body here there's really nothing inside there so we're gonna flip it over to the other end of the car that you have uh, some un some underbody detail that we have here our control valve which is here a brake a piston with cylinder and the um, air reservoir so two separate pieces emergency and service so that's uh, pretty much it. But uh, well, you got the underbody uh, support beams here. You know, I got some detail here. Let's get you some of the trucks here. Uh, trucks don't look bad at all. Uh, the wheels, about 36 is there on the wheels. Don't look too bad at all. Let's see about it there. So this is not a, a bad looking car for about, you know, for that price point. Here's the model. Here's the prototype. Uh, you see that 
uh, some of the details there is a little lag in here because it's the Walt Disney mainline and it made a little bit affordable to uh, build long trains. Uh, was missing for reflecting, but you can add that. You can go to smoke box once again. And then grab some reflected decals. Also, you see the uh, rivets here on the cars. Uh, it's not there on, on a model. But they do provide you these bulkheads on the end of the car. But Prototype has it where the um, reporting number, the name and number is on the bulkhead. But this is on the car. Well, then ideas and uh I shouldn't say tips, but ideas that you see that have been patched out um, numerous, ta numerous times because the lettering is different from the prototype and the uh, number that have been sprayed on there a little bit. This, you know, of course, stamped on. So, you know, ideas. Looking at another prototype photo, uh, the same, actually, same car uh, with a different angle. Uh, looking at other prototype photos, here we got the NS logo here, but you do have the look appears to be the correct font for the car the loop board is in the correct spot and a g i can't tell the g uh 72 was that on this particular car but if you look at this other car here that you can see that is uh, right there plus uh, you can add more decals to this model to get to um more prototypical look but you will miss detailed parts as far as the rivets and the uh, bulkhead uh they give you parts to add in one but the road name and number is a good one to be on the car unless you want to add it yourself so it's a good base to start off with to get the car ready for coil load service the part out from the sprue here and it's basically to set the piece inside the car and this car is ready for cool little service. It's got glue it down. Now we can get this uh, gondola ready for pop wheel service. So you can get some uh, sprue nippers. You got your uh, part right here. And you wanna come in a nice cut. And you wanna cut. So it may a uh, clean cut there. Scratch that off a little, make it a little bit smoother. There you go. That's pretty cool, right? It's good enough. All right, come to the other piece here. Wanna cut it. Let's hit this down. I'm gonna take this piece and this piece, gonna marry them together. And basically you're gonna be like this. So it's, it had grooves, so it's gonna sit inside there with no problem so what we gonna do is take some of this uh tamiya extra thin and then gonna apply it here apply it then i'm gonna apply it to this right there i'm gonna stick this inside the rock car just like that okay just trying to roll just like that make sure everything's square and there we have it so the car is set up for pulp wood service so that's how it's gonna look so Pretty much how you do it, just make sure it's all straight and level inside. That's what it looks like inside there. 